Hi everyone, today's session will be about releasing tension from your upper body uh, when you sit in for a long period of time at your desk or now we more or less confined to our homes <laughs> you might be spending a lot of time on your sofa um, these few exercises will make a massive difference if you try to do them at least a couple of times a week you can do them sitting at your desk or on the floor or you can do them standing just as I am right now. Uh, if uh, you're on the floor, I would recommend you cross your legs and at some point recross them the other way. The first exercise we'll do is chest opener. You put your hands on your shoulders and you start circling big hooks with your elbows. You're driving from your elbows, you try for them to meet and stay together for as long as possible during uh, each circle. We'll do eight going backwards and eight coming forwards. So try to coordinate your breath. So breathe in on your way up and breathe out on your way down. And one small and down. Now we'll go the other way. So breathe in and then breathe out going down. Your elbows are meeting together, staying together for as long as possible and going up. I'm trying to remember the number of repetitions I'm making, but there's every chance uh, that will go wrong. So just remember for you, it's eight forward and eight backwards. And last one, lovely. What you'll do now, you cross your arms, hold on to your shoulders and we'll draw a figure of eight with our elbows. So go as far as you can to each corner. And again, don't forget about your breath. You can move from your waist, you don't have to be still. With time, you might start feeling this exercise in your core, which is a nice sort of gentle way of uh, giving your uh, your abs a bit of sort of wake up and let's go the other way that's it try to place your elbows more or less on top of each other and stop now remember where your hands are and we cross them we'll do the same again so let's go with one way so a line figure of eight and keep on pushing your shoulders down so they shouldn't be rising up towards your ears and last one this way and another direction and keep the elbows stuck on top of each other and back to center you can shake off your shoulders now we'll do shoulder rotation so arms out to the side shoulders down shoulder blades together and one at a time smallish circles behind and down you should feel your shoulder blades drawing down so the movement does not start from your arms it starts from your shoulder blades and again push your shoulders down if you do enough of repetitions you will feel and um, that is actually quite um, quite taxing there we go and if you need to shake off and now we'll go the other way and forward if you have any tensions around your neck you should feel the circles pulling down in that area but this is how you'll be releasing the tension there and down what we'll do now you lift your arm place on the side of your head again reset your uh, core pull your belly back into your spine pull your shoulders down and pull gently your head down to the side extend the arm and breathe in and breathe out so now you'll be trying to move your arm to the point where you feel a bit more tension in your neck 
So you might want to pull your arm backwards and then the other hand is pulling the head a little bit more to the side. When you're breathing in, make sure your breath sort of goes onto the side of your neck. Three more breaths here and breathe in and breathe out, in, out and the last one, take a deep breath in and release. And we'll do the same on the other side. So arm up, palm place on the side of your head, pull gently to the side, but you should feel a nice stretch on the side of your neck. Lift the other arm and start breathing deeply. Again, try to find a position with your arm where you feel more stretch in your neck. It might be where your arm is down or behind. And let's have three more breaths here. Breathe in and then let it out. And breathe in and out. And last one, in and out. And release. Now we clasp our hands in front of us. Do it this way. Round up your upper back, pull your belly button to your spine and drop your head in. Your hands are pulling you forward and you're collapsing into your uh, upper back. Okay, come forward. Now press your hands towards your uh, chest. Your elbows are pulling you backwards. Look up. Flip your hands and again. Pull forward, round up your upper back like we did before. Drop your head down. You should feel a stretch down your, the back of your neck. Now pull your arms up. You can look up if you want to. And now you uh, stretch your arms to one side and also the side of your obliques. You will feel a stretch. Take a couple of breaths here back to center and then over to the other side. One more breath and back to center. Okay. Now we'll stretch our spine and uh, our pectoral muscles. First, clasp your hands again together, place them at the back of your neck and then chin towards your chest and start turning your spine down. You might feel tight in different places in your spine. For me, it's upper back. For you, it might be lower back. So focus on that area, whichever needs the most attention and just push into there. Then one more breath, breathe in, breathe out. And then come up, keep your hands where they are and pull your elbows out. You should feel a stretch in your pectorals and maybe at, uh, sort of at the bottom of your front neck. Look up, put your head into your hands and keep on breathing. Okay, and again, we'll go down, round up your upper back, all the way down, bring your elbows closer toward each other. Couple of breaths here. So breathe in through your nose and breathe out gently through your mouth. And last breath, and come back up and recline. Imagine you're on a picnic somewhere, you're lying on a blanket. That sort of um, stretch you're looking for. So elbows out to the side, shoulders pull them down and then look up and last repetition. Neck and spine stretch, elbows together. Now see if you can change the focus of your stretch. If you are focusing on your upper back, go lower and vice versa. And then come back up, look up, draw your shoulders down, your elbows 
to the side and come back to center. When you walk in um, many hours at your computer, your inner arm will feel quite tight, even though you might not realize it. So to stretch this, uh, extend your arm in front of you, palm up, and then pull your fingers with the other hand towards you. Depending on how tight you are there, it might be quite unpleasant, uh, hopefully not too much. And then remove your arm and your fingers are pulling towards you. Then release. You can squeeze your forearm to release the tension. And then we'll do the same on the other arm. Hand in front, pull the fingers towards you, elbows straight. Breathe in, breathe out, remove your arm, pull the fingers towards you. It, you might feel a bit of a stretch at the back of your palm. And release, squeeze your forearm, squeeze your wrist. That's it for today. I hope you find those exercises helpful and I'll see you again next week. Bye.